What's up my dudes, thank you very much for tuning in, hope you guys have the most excellent day today. So this is a bit of a follow up video to one of my previous videos where I talked about how Oklahoma and North Dakota were both putting through bills to their you know, local legislature to essentially ban Furries from their schools. Well, it turns out that Oklahoma has passed its bill and it's gone into law, which is quite troubling. Now I'm going to be talking to you today about the Oklahoma Parent Empowerment Act for Kids. Uh, or OK Peak as they're calling it. And that is a hell of a mouthful. And I, I really hate how they name some of these bills. Because it is anything but a parent. Well, I suppose it's a parent empowerment for a certain point of view. So it has passed now in Oklahoma. And the details are pretty much. Uh, it's available in any county with less than 10,000 people living in it. So, you know, all the boondicks and sticks and, you know, backwater towns. All the big cities and stuff, they're exempt from it. It doesn't count for them. Uh, but any county under 10,000 uh, citizens, this is now an option for parents in those counties. So the way it works is if a school meets certain trigger conditions, a parent or guardian may make a complaint to the state and effectively remove their child from that school and then get given money by the state to either homeschool the child or send them to a private school. And I'm already getting the vibe that this is actually set up so rather well-off parents who don't like the schools available to them can get the state to pay for their kids to go to the swanky schools. Um, but that is just my you know, suspicions at the moment. It's just an opinion, nothing more at this point. But having a look at the uh, conditions that cause this, it is definitely a right-wing orientated bill. There's no doubt about it. This is designed so Republicans can get their kids out of public school, effectively. And you'll see why when I go through the list of things that cause a triggering event. And, it, and it's clear right from the get-go, the very first one, right after a couple of points about, you know, things that meet this other bill, or things that meet that other bill, the very first clearly laid out condition is that if the school has any sort of instruction or classes or any sort of, you know, literature or anything like that, on gender identity then that causes a triggering that the parent can then use to withdraw their kid from the school so anything regarding you know, transgender rights or generally lgbtq stuff in general that's going to cause a triggering and that lets these republicans remove their kids from the school and get money from the state to send them to private school or homeschool them so that's the first one the second one on the list after that is any sort of sexual education classes in school that is a trigger that lets them use ok peak to remove their kid create an ok peak account and send them to a private school and the third one is the one that you know really gets at the furry point of view is this is the one where they're on about how any staff or volunteers or any sort of instruction in anthropomorphic behavior known as furries ooh, um is also a triggering event that triggers this law. And again, they still haven't, you know, really defined the limits of anthropomorphic behavior. You know, as covered in my previous video, that could cover anything from Bugs Bunny to the fucking Kool-Aid man. But hey, the Republicans don't care about that. They just care about getting their kids into private fancy school, I guess. And the fourth one is where it starts going down the conspiracy side of things. And that is any instruction or lessons on climate change especially the act of slagging off oil companies. And it's really weird that they've included that specification. Any sort of, you know, talking about, you know, oil companies in a bad light apparently triggers this act. It's, it's really weird that they've included that, don't you guys think? The fifth one is instruction in social or emotional learning. Now, I have to admit, I have no idea what this means. Um, I don't think they have any idea what this means either. I am guessing it's like, you know, classes on, you know, dealing with your feelings or whatever. Or, hell, I don't know. Maybe it's having a therapist in the school. I have no fucking clue. But apparently that is a trigger for this act. Number six, any discussion on animal rights. If you want to discuss animal rights or have a lesson on animal rights or even, you know, bring in some animal rights activists to talk about what they do. Nope, that'll trigger this act. You can take, uh, they can take their kids out of the school. And this, this, number seven, is one that is hilarious, in my opinion. The fact that they've included in this bill any sort of slagging off of the Second Amendment. If you have a bad thing to say about the Second Amendment, you know, and you're a school official or whatever, that will trigger them to be able to withdraw their kids from your school. What the hell? This, this is the wildest 
shit I have seen. America, the country with a school shooting problem. One of your states is enshrining in a kids protection act a law saying you can't talk bad about gun rights. What the hell, my dudes? Come on. This has got to be a joke. Uh, number eight is highlighting anything bad about the police force. Criticizing the police force will trigger this act and let them withdraw their kids from the school. You know, the police force, which is famous for, I don't know, murdering people of color. Come on, dudes. You are having a laugh. This and, and this act passed through the second reading. What the hell? And the final one is pushing any sort of socialist agenda, specifically talking about Marxism. Not that people push Marxism in schools, but, you know, apparently if you have any sort of lesson on Karl Marx or, you know, that kind of political leaning, that will trigger this bill. They can withdraw their kids from the school. Now, what happens when they do this? Well, the school is obviously going to get in trouble, I imagine. But the major point is that they then get given what's called an OK Peak account for their kid. Well, the state government will then put money each month to pay for them to either be homeschooled and get all the equipment for that or to go off to a nice private school somewhere which is teaching exactly what they want and you know probably cost the taxpayer thousands of dollars every month but hey i think that's what these people actually want to do they they're happy to put all their kids into private high-end schools because then they get a higher class of education and, you know, they get to go to, like, Harvard and shit. They get privileged to that kind of bollocks. So I think that's what the end goal is here. And I think they're just, you know, plucking any right-wing talking point they can find to use to trigger this act. Because then they can be like, oh, we were forced to take our kids out of school because of the left-wing agenda. And, of course, with all this talk about furries recently, we are now one of the reasons they can use to remove their kids from their uh, public schools. Personally, I think this whole act is bullshit. I think this is just a money grab by well-off Republicans. So they can put their skids through uh, the schools they want without having to pay for it themselves. They'll let the rest of the taxpaying general public pay for it. And, of course, it only really applies to the counties with less than 10,000 people living in them, which you know, generally has, you know, a lot of well-off right-wing Republicans with lots of land and lots of money because that's where they keep their mansions. It's a bit suspicious that they've done that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe. Drop your comments below on your opinion on this vid uh, on this uh, act. Uh, consider joining my Patreon. Come support me, make more most excellent videos like this. If you do, you will get early access to a lot of my videos. You will get discounts on my art, and you'll get to see work in progress with all the art I produce. Also, consider swinging by my Discord. There's some most excellent people there. Again, there's even more artists you can commission, and they are really decent prices, really good artists. So consider swinging by there. Other than that, though, I hope you have a most excellent day, an amazing week, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, take care, Tower.